Hello everyone, welcome to solve this math Olympiad algebra problem. So here we have m to the power of 6 minus 64 equals to 0 and we solve this problem for the values of m. So here the very first step we are going to do is here first uh, we rewrite this equation as in this form. So this is a sixth order equation. It means that uh, here we need to find the sixth root of this equation. Okay. So, in, uh, so that here first we rewrite this equation in this form. So this is m to the power of 6 and we write it as uh, m cubed and its whole square minus this is 64. We write it as uh, 8 square and this whole equals to 0. So further in the next step here we need more simplifications. Uh, and here we first apply the algebraic formula. You know that. Uh, if we have a square minus b square it is equals to a minus b times of a plus b so uh, for further simplification we need to apply this nice formula in the above equation so that our above equation is written as uh, m cubed minus 8 times of uh, m cubed plus 8 equals to 0 because here our a is m cubed and our b is 8 so when you put these two values in this equation you get the output in this form so further in the next step we need to convert this equation into the two cases so that the first case is we take m cubed minus 8 equals to 0 and the second case is we take m cubed plus 8 equals to 0 so we call this is our equation number one and we call this is our equation number two and now here uh, we solve these two equations simultaneously now we need to focus first from equation number one so our equation number one is implies that this is m cubed minus eight we write eight as two cubed and this is equals to zero so here uh, we need the cubic formula in order to further simplification of this equation uh, you know that our cubic formula is stated as a cubed minus b cubed it is equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square so here according to this formula we write our above equation as in this form so here our a is m we write it as m minus b is 2 into m square plus a b here our a is m and b is 2 plus b square b is 2 square this is equals to 0. So here we need more simplifications and we write it as m minus 2 times of m square plus this is 2 m plus 2 square equals to 4 and this whole equation equals to 0 so in the next step we need to convert this into the two cases so that the first case is we take m minus 2 equals to 0 and the second case is we take m square plus 2m plus 4 equals to 0 so from this case we easily get the value of m equals to 2 this is the first root of the given equation and in order to find the other roots we need to solve this quadratic equation uh, so uh, in order to solve this quadratic equation, we uh, need to use the quadratic formula so quadratic formula is stated as first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1 b equals to 2 and c equals to 4 and quadratic formula is stated as m equals minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of a c divided by 2 times of a so this is the over quadratic formula now we substitute the values of a b and c here and we write it as m equals minus b the value of b is 2 it will becomes minus 2 plus minus square root of b square b is 2 and 2 square is 4 minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 4 so 4 times of 4 becomes 16 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 is 2 so here we need more simplification we write it as minus 2 plus minus square root of 4 minus 16 equals to minus 12 and it is divided by 2 and now in the next step uh, here uh, we rewrite this equation as in form uh, 
Uh, so here we have m equals minus 2 plus minus we know that uh, here we write this 12 as 4 times of 3 becomes 12 and we write the square root of minus 1 and it is divided by 2 so after this step we have uh, we rewrite this equation as m equals minus 2 plus minus the square root of 4 is 2 into square root of 3 and square root of minus 1 equals iota and it is divided by 2 so when we uh, separate this fraction you will finally get the other two roots of the given equation r minus 1 plus minus uh, square root of 3 iota so these are the other two ro complex roots of the given equation which we get from equation number 1 and now here we need to move towards equation number 2 so from equation number 2 we have uh, first we copy down equation number 2 it is m cubed plus 8 equals to 0 and here we rewrite this equation as m cubed plus 2 cubed equals to 0 and now you can use the cubic formula a cube plus b cube equals to a plus b times of a square minus a b plus b square so according to this formula we write our above equation as m plus 2 times of m square minus m into 2 plus 2 square and this whole equation equals to 0 so here we need more simplifications and uh, we write this equation as uh, m plus 2 times of uh, m square minus 2 m plus 2 square is 4 and this whole equals to 0 and now we convert this into the two cases so the first case is we take m plus 2 equals to 0 and the second case is we take m square minus 2 m plus 4 equals to 0 so the value of m equals to minus 2 and in order to find the other roots we can solve this quadratic equation and here we write the uh, quadratic formula in order to solve this one so first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals 1 b minus 2 and c equals 4 and quadratic formula is stated as minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a so here we again substitute the values of a b and c and we get the other roots so the value of b is minus 2 so minus times of minus becomes plus 2 and plus minus square root of b square b is minus 2 square is 4 minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 4 so 4 times of 4 is 16 and it is divided by 2 so after simplification we will get 2 plus minus square root of minus 12 divided by 2 and after that we will get m equals to 2 plus minus we write this 12 as 4 times of 3 and square root of minus 1 divided by 2 and now here uh, we uh, see that uh, the square root of uh, 4 becomes 2 into square root of 3 and square root of minus 1 equals iota and we break this fraction uh, in, in this form so this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and we get m equals to 1 plus minus square root of 3 into iota so these are the other two complex roots which we get from second equation uh, so finally we have the six roots of the given equation are m equals to plus minus 2 and minus 1 plus minus square root of 3 iota and 1 plus minus square root of 3 iota so these are the total six roots of the given equation this is the final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos